Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Rezac, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is July 28, 2023, and today is Friday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, the U.S. markets take a slide. But first, looking at today's major economic event. So all day today out of Germany, we have a monthly CPI number coming out. And at 2.30 South African time out of Canada, a GDP number coming out. Now, simultaneously out of the United States, we have a core PCE price index number coming out. Also, as we continue our corporate earnings season today, we have ExxonMobil, Chevron, two major oil companies, and P&G coming out with their quarterly earning reports. Now, looking at the various markets, starting out with the forex symbols, the British pound breaks lower. Looking at the indices, the Dow Jones and the Nasdaq slide. Looking at commodities, gold actually dips while oil holding on to its gains. Now, looking at the stocks, it's Facebook taking a lead higher while Microsoft and Tesla break lower. Now, lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin remains unchanged. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So we're going to start with the British pound this time. And you can see it's nosedived. I mean, it went from 129.86 or 11 to 126, almost 200 points. And it crossed over three major moving averages. We can see the 8-day moving average and the 30-day moving average and then the 200-day moving average. That one is the most decisive one. Now, it's only a 4-hour chart, but still, it is very important. Now, looking at a daily chart, you can see here how clearly it's broken that 30-day moving average, which is really important. Now, it's still in supportish area, I would say. Okay, it hasn't really fully broken the supportish area. So we may see this actually bounce off of this low. Now jumping into the Japanese yen, we saw this massive spike this morning. Some of you guys who like to day trade and kind of like catch the moves, this was a particular opportunity. And this happened earlier this morning as it had its monetary policy number coming out. We went from 140.89-ish level to 137-ish level. That's a decent move intraday. And so hard to really decipher, you know, this type of really obscene kind of moves. I mean, that happened just, you know, within minutes, as you could see here, we're looking at a five minute chart, you know, really very, very special when these do happen. Now, it does look like it's consolidating here. So I would imagine that it's going to bounce off of this. It's just like a knee jerk reaction. It's called it's called trading the fade, as we've spoken about in several webinars. And it's that initial knee jerk reaction and then the correction that comes right afterwards. So that's what I'm anticipating here. So I do imagine that the dollar will gain back against the Japanese yen at some point as everybody is kind of like letting go of their monetary policy. Previously this week we had the FOMC with the rate statement increasing 25 basis points. So that's affecting the markets as well. Now jumping into commodities, gold dips lower after it will hit that 1977 this is right really after the big news and so it's kind of reverting back to itself it's choppy market really i mean it's trading within a range 1977 ish level was resistance and then you know hitting 1942 which is a supportish level so this is really important levels that it's hitting it and that is really what is going on in the market here now looking at crude oil did hold to its canes at the $79 a barrel. Remember, we do have resistance at $80 a barrel, and it looks like it's the end of that move, at least for now, as we're kind of consolidating at this upper level. Now, looking at the U.S. markets, we're first watching the Dow Jones. Did sell off quite aggressively at the beginning of the day. You can see that, 35789 And then we've been consolidating here in the 35500 ish level. I mean, that's really where we were before this nice breakout that we had. Now, looking at at a weekly this is where it becomes important because you want to look for this 33,000 34,000 as a supportish level we do have some 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 leeway until that we have a thousand five hundred points until that but nevertheless you want to keep it in perspective because the markets kind of may sell off you know coming in to end of July and beginning of August as this is still unfolding now the Nasdaq did you know sell off as well but found its footing at 15,630 Remember, it hit 16,000, so there's still some room for it on the upside. Now, looking at the individual stocks, we're getting a little bit of a mixed culture here. If we look at Tesla, we sold off quite aggressively yesterday. We had that dead cap bounce, and then we're back on our lows here um, at the lower part of our 
supportish area at 255 ish area so keep that in mind if we do break it we may see it fall further down okay this is something to consider now then looking at microsoft also did sell off quite aggressively over yesterday the last couple of days also sitting on support so this is really very important intervals where we're at now on the flip side facebook actually had a big gap up yesterday okay and then closed part of that gap however relatively it's still up on the day okay it's still considered green on the day even though it sold off most of the day it's still considered a up day for it so two possible scenarios here it may stop selling off that's one two which is the most likely scenario which will fill in the gap which means that it'll retrace up to three hundred dollars and then maybe kind of test it back up at 320-ish level uh, quite again. This is something that happens quite often. So keep an eye on this because this can potentially be a decent trade for today. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, it's really not doing much. 29,170, just holding on to that supportish level, you know, really choppy market for Bitcoin. So it's much worth your time to focus on the U.S. stocks because those are the ones that are showing character and are moving. This is Fed Rezac. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.